Hey guys, welcome back. The in-scale market's really taken off with sound equipped locomotives. Bachman has this most recent release. There's your item number if you're searching for it, but it's the in-scale dash eight four <laughs> dash eight an eight dash forty CW diesel locomotive. Let me get that out. It is equipped with Economy DCC and sound. That is from Soundtracks. This is a UP version. Let's just dig right into it and pull out the box. Because in scale smaller, let's try to go smaller on time here. Got some paperwork, Bachman warranty, Economy quick start guide tucked in back here. These guys are great at utilizing space. Know how to cram some stuff in. Got hard plastic shell and soft plastic with the locomotive. Got the loco out. Unfortunately, the Bob's in scale man cave is down with some disco lighting issues. Lighting flicker, so I'm gonna have to see if I can cobble together a few pieces of in scale track, the snap track type, to get this thing at least fired up so you can see what it sounds like. But let's take a closer look at detail. All right, here's the locomotive, and first impressions on N-Scale is not bulky detail, and some pretty cool details for this locomotive. Bachman really stepping it up in the N-Scale category. We've even got coupler cut levers, low-mounted just ditch lights that are non-operational, accessory hoses. We've got a coupler, I believe those are Bachman branded. Headlight, UP shield, sand filler hatches, Separately applied grab on the roof, windshield wipers, windshield. Pilot looks nice. Got the old red sill. It's prior to the FRA yellow striping mandation. If that's a word, mandate. Cab window sunshades. A little cab antenna on the roof. Looks like the interior does not have any detail. 9363 on the side. Compartment include battery box doors. Molded in there. Handrails and stanchion looks pretty good. Union Pacific legible. Got molded detail. Camera's fighting me a little bit for a turn. I'll get a little turn going on there. Exhaust, horn, radiator fan grills, brake wheel, all in place. Nice, not clunky. Looks like a pretty decent locomotive all overall and more of the same on the rear in terms of coupler cut levers, stanchions, accessory hoses. Fuel tank detail on this side too including sight glass molded in. Truck detail is pretty decent, jacking pads present. Overall pretty nice for an in-scale locomotive. I've seen a lot clunkier details for a lot more in price. So. That is going to be it for showing off the details. Let's see if I can get this thing to at least make some sound. All right, we got a piece of curved track here. I'm going to listen to some sounds. We can't really move much, but bell sounds really good from sound tracks. There's not a speaker baffle. It sounds good coming out of that in scale loco. Here's the horn. I know that kind of played earlier, that's because I already had it hit on function three here. Yeah, it's very nice sound out of this in-scale locomotive. Impressive to me for what they can put in this small thing. Dynamic brake fans. F8 mutes it. Manual notching. So there you have most of the sound features. You do have LED lights in this as well. Try to get an off angle of that in a minute, but right now we'll just move this very little so you can see some movement.
how running remarkably smooth. So I had turned the prime mover completely off there. This is a sharp curve, but it was moving very smooth here. Just get get it on the curve there. There we go. So not much moving area there, but uh, this is a very weak electrical connection because I've just got some alligator clips going on down here, as you can see. But overall, it was moving fine. It's more my connection than anything else, I guarantee it. Um, go backwards here. The connection or the curvature is just too much. So that is a very sharp curve. So you get closer to those alligator clips. Needs to be no problem. But pretty smooth at slow speeds, which is really good. And that's fairly impressive as well for such a small locomotive. Quick view of the headlight for you. I believe that is LED. Little shine through on the cab door window. But there is the lighting feature of the locomotive. You have the more of the same on the rear. That is the extent of the lighting features as well. Well, that's going to wrap up our look at the Bachman 840 C-Dub locomotive and in scale. Pretty impressive. Seems to run smoothly. I don't know the minimum radi radius on this, so be sure to look that up before you purchase it, because I think that's part of its struggles along with the very poor electrical connectivity we got going on for the DCC signal on this little piece of track. But that is about it. Uh, very solid, and we will see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.